Yellowstone isn't just rising, it's stretching. GPS data now confirms that the ground beneath America's most famous supervolcano is tearing in two different directions. That's not speculation, that's USGS data. So what does it mean when a volcano starts pulling itself apart? And why are geologists calling this the quietest warning sign yet? Yellowstone has been relatively calm for decades, but beneath the surface, something is shifting. Satellites and ultra-precise GPS stations are picking up subtle but consistent movements. The kind you don't feel, the kind you can only see when you zoom out. And what they're seeing now is unusual. The northeast side of the caldera is moving slightly east. The southwest is shifting the other way. That's not just movement, that's separation. It's like the volcano is slowly pulling apart from within. To understand Yellowstone, you have to look at the whole continent. The North American tectonic plate is drifting west while also rotating slightly counterclockwise. That means tension is building along its edges and inside its crust. Yellowstone sits near the transition zone between two powerful geological regions, the basin and range, and the edge of the Rocky Mountains. Here, the crust isn't just being compressed, it's being stretched. And when you stretch the crust near a magma chamber, you create space. Space for what? You guessed it, magma. The data comes from Earthscope's massive GPS network, hundreds of stations tracking ground movement 24 seven with millimeter precision. These stations don't just watch Yellowstone, they track how the entire plate moves. And more importantly, they let scientists subtract that motion. When you remove the large-scale plate drift, you can see what's happening locally. That's when Yellowstone lights up, because the overall plate is gliding west, but Yellowstone is twisting in opposite directions. This isn't the first time we've seen Yellowstone flex. In 1959, the Hebgen Lake earthquake, just outside Yellowstone's western boundary, ripped the ground open with a magnitude 7.3 quake. Dozens were killed. The lake shifted. The land dropped meters in seconds. The culprit? Tectonic extension. The same kind of pulling force we're detecting again now. So if that force caused a 7.3 back then, what happens if it meets rising magma today? Yellowstone isn't just a fault zone. It's a pressurized system. Beneath it lies a magma chamber and hydrothermal system capable of inflating or deflating the ground like a balloon. And when the crust above is already under tension, it takes less pressure to deform it. That's what makes this new data so important. Because what scientists are now seeing is the crust getting thinner in two directions. USGS reports confirm the caldera's northeast is inching east. The southwest is drifting away. That's not normal. And it's not random. It's a sign of internal stress. GPS vectors across Yellowstone are splintering not aligning. That means something beneath is influencing the movement, magma, heat, or fluid. And when GPS stations on either side of a volcano start drifting away from each other, it raises one question. Is Yellowstone preparing for something? This is where it gets even more interesting. By comparing GPS motion inside the caldera to motion outside it, scientists can differentiate tectonic quakes from volcanic ones. That's huge. It means when the next swarm hits, we might be able to say, that's just crust movement, or that's pressure from below. And the better we get at spotting those early signals, the more warning time we buy. Right now, Yellowstone isn't erupting, but it's changing. The ground is stretching, the caldera is flexing, and subtle silent movement is reshaping the region. What happens next depends on how those forces evolve. More stretching, more uplift, or a sudden pressure drop. Because sometimes the earth doesn't scream before it breaks. Sometimes it whispers. And right now, Yellowstone is whispering. Want to stay ahead of the signs? Subscribe for real-time breakdowns of volcanoes, earthquakes, and geoscience headlines that matter. Leave a comment. Do you think Yellowstone is just shifting? or building up to something more? Information saves lives. Stay curious. Stay informed.